Hello guys, how you doing? My name is Davide Kiko, I am a 3D visualizer and today I'm gonna show you how to create this interior lighting setup scene in Max and Corona. Yes, again. I know there is a lot of YouTube and tutorial everywhere showing how to create this kind of scene. But this time the process is slightly different. As I said, I'm using Max and Corona. In this scene you can see that I use HDRI plus physical light. The only difference is that the background, the backdrops, is a shadow catcher material. So I am able to change constantly color for my background without affecting my geometry. Let's have a look at this scene. This is a um, Christmas tree I modeled, so you guys will be able to download this uh, Christmas scene and use it wherever you want. It's a very simple scene, as you can see. I changed the background and changed the material for the balls, but everything has stayed as it is, remain the same. So this is an easy way to create different uh, scene very, very quickly. These images are not being retouched in Photoshop, so these are straight from Studio Max. And this is another example, white background, different light, etc. So let's see how I made it. So let's have a look. Uh, this is the scene I create in Studio Max. Let's have a look. It's a very, very simple scene. As you can see, instead of creating a partial backdrop, I create a cylinder. So I created this backdrop that is running all around this my geometry. Basically, I created a cylinder, a massive. I create this very very big cylinder very wide and very tall something like this convert it in an editable boy Whoop. this and again like this and then very easily you can chamfer the um, edge this way then you can decide how many uh, edges you want use something like this so I create these smooth uh, edges and then of course I can apply a corona material on my backdrops okay what I'm usually do is instead of yeah, I create my corona material inside the color I use a corona color map so I set everything white if I want to create a white color and then I set the multiplier to something like 0 0.4 that's it <coughs> oh, let's switch off the light Turn it off. Perfect. Now, if I go inside my camera, eh, I'm going to uh, render this view. Let's start with an interactive render. This is what I will see. So you, yes, as you can see, the, um, using the white backdrop material plus 
on HDRI in the uh, corona environment. This is my HDRI. Let me show you. Is basically is basically a uh, interior light setup scene, a studio with umbrella and uh, softbox lights. What we get is uh, a very 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 boring uh, image. Image. The light is coming just from the top because all around we have the cylinder, the backdrop that is covering basically the lighting so we don't get any direct lighting and any reflection what we have to do is convert this material for the for the backdrops in a shadow catcher material so let's do it let's copy the oh, let's do it again okay I select my backdrop materials and then I search for shadow catcher material and then as you can see immediately my backdrop change color mm. I put the pigment to zero um, I select again for the environment backplate color um, corner color I set this value to zero. Of course, you can. Sorry, you can change the exposure. So as you can see now the shadow catcher material is catching just the shadow in fact you can see the color of my backdrop set here in the in the, in the value of the <coughs> in the setting of the my backdrops material the only thing is that you really you can use the HDRI in order to get the reflection on this car so the best thing to do is once you create this shadow catcher material, is create a um, ray switch material. So I keep this map, and basically I put this in direct visible, so it's visible behind my car. But I don't want this uh, shadow catch material is affecting my reflection. So now you can see how I can I can uh, use the HDRI to cast this reflection on my geometry. You can even delay the global illumination uh, material from here. So you avoid to get this the white reflection of the light on the on the floor so you can see the difference here if i copy in the global illumination here you can see how the the car how the surface is slightly brighter some situation this uh, will be good will be ha will help but keep in mind if you change the color to something like red or intense uh, saturated color this color will be seen will be reflected on the car especially if the car is clear white like this one so you decide uh, if you want to use it or not Let's see, for example, if I change the color of my backdrops, something like deep red. Yeah, you can see how 
the shadow catcher material is affecting my geometry but if I decide to remove from the rise which material the GI the cover illumination material this is what I get I still keep to have having the backdrops with my color but in this case the backdrop is not affecting my geometry this is very cool I think because maybe you can render twice and then blend in Photoshop uh, the two images whenever you want so it's really really that easy then when you are happy with this solution you can always add other lights on top physical lights in your scene to add some reflection or to add some light in fact maybe sometime you need to uh, make some parts of the, your backdrops uh, slightly brighter to do this is you just add a light like uh, let's see what we can do <coughs> for example this light I added this light on top of my car go back on my camera and then I will start my interactive rendering Yeah, now you can see how this light on top is affecting my uh, backdrop, so my shadow catcher material. In this way I can um, reinforce the shadow and at the same time I can create some more bright um, area on my shadow catcher. Like in this example of the Christmas tree, as you can see, there is a slightly brighter background here in fact the, the shadow catcher material is completely almost completely black but i put a light behind my tree just to create this uh, this brighter area to focus more and better on this tree so everything inside studio max keep in mind that when you create a light uh, in corona and you want to illuminate your um, backdrops using a uh, shadow catch material you have to be sure that you set the, um, the light on shadow catch illuminate let's see here here we go if you forget to activate the shadow catch illuminator this is the result the light the car is receiving the light but the light is not affecting your uh, shadow catcher so this is very very important As I say, you can always change the backdrop colors. So let's create some extreme color like a purple background. Something like this. And then you can always even work on this shadow catch material, create some kind of reflection. Something like very, very soft reflection. see it's very very easy even to add some reflection on my backdrop you can even exaggerate a little bit <coughs> not too much here we go you know sometimes it's, it's very cool having this kind of reflection
Oops. On top of this, you can always add a vignette. So you can set something like that one. Or you can even exaggerate. No, this, this is too much. So yes, this is my image. As you can see, it's, it's not that difficult to create this kind of scene in Max and Corona. So you guys, you will be able to download my amazing Christmas scene. So you can use it. Please don't try to sell it. It's not that good. So, you know. Have fun. Please share my videos on YouTube. Um, ask me if you need anything or if you want to um, talk about anything else about Corona and Studio Max if you want some kind of tutorial um, yes guys thank you for uh, watching and see you soon bye bye